Are you alright, Chie? You Kunin Yosuke? Oh no, you don't! Whoa! Hold it! Calm down! We're the real ones. I'm glad you're safe, Chie. Yukun. Yeah, you sure seem like the real deal, Yukun. What about me? I mean, we've already dealt with our fakes. Huh? So you guys ran into them too? Yeah, we've defeated the fake Yosuke and myself. Was that a fake Yukiko? Seemed that way. Actually, what's going on? Is this really the real world? Looks like it. Even though shadows are running around and we can use our personas. But that might as well be in the TV! What in the world's going on? Calm down, will ya? We don't know anything either. The Midnight Channel came on and General Teddy suddenly declared war on us. Afterwards, the town got swallowed up in that red fog. The Midnight Channel? Then is what happened with Labrys really not over? Don't tell me. Did you not see the Midnight Channel? Uh... <laughs> Seriously? I can't believe this. It came up so many times. Why didn't you check? No one said specifically to watch for it. All this happened suddenly while I was out walking Muku. So I don't know what's going on either. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, the town's in serious danger right now. That reminds me. General Teddy said something earlier about the world ending. Right. General Teddy says that if we don't win this tournament within the hour, the world will end. Apparently, he's holding Mitsuru-san and her friends captive in that tower. What? He is? Actually, I just noticed. Where's Yukiko? And is Kanji-kun okay? Teddy's headed over to Yukiko, and I doubt Kanji will go down that easily. We don't have any time right now. Let's leave those two to the others. We need to go rescue Mitsudu-san's group at once. Chie, believe in your friends. <sighs> Let's go, Yukun! Hmm? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna believe in your friends and be the winners of the P1 Climax, is that right? Playing friends here? That's frickin' lame. <gasps> my name's Sho Minazuki, and you guys are in my world now. Come on, no need to get all nervous. I came all this way to say hello. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> My legs, I, I can't move. You look like you're in pain. <laughs> the look on your faces is just epic. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Man, this power is useful. Oh, right. Good evening. I'm Sho, Sho Minazuki, the culprit behind these shenanigans. Uh, you are? That's right. I'm the one that invited you here, and I'm showing myself right now. Now that I've shown you the way here, it's time for a showdown with show. <laughs> Get it? Bullshit! That ain't funny! Hmm? What's the matter? <laughs> laugh! Wasn't it funny? Come on, laugh! Uh, I guess I'll dismantle one of them. I doubt that'll matter much. Oh, 
Come on, why right now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we got more guests of honor. You guys are just the ginger on the side of the sushi, so all you get to do is look for your friends in the tower. But we have plenty of fun in store for the investigation team. You'll sure look forward to it. <laughs> Damn it! What's with that guy? Is he really the culprit? We have to hurry and go after him! He's way too dangerous to leave him be! No. Teddy, Yukiko, and Kanji are still in town. If Teddy's nose is working, they may have met up already. So we're gonna leave that guy to just Teddy and Kanji? I mean, Naoto and Rise might find their way here, but... No, that show guy said they have more guests of honor now. At the very least, he's not after us for the time being. Oh. Wait, but what's that supposed to mean? Who are these guests of honor? When we watched the Midnight Channel, Labrys wasn't one of the captives it showed. The Shadow Operatives are Mitsuru-san's team, but no one said the ones we met are the only members. If their leader is in danger, it's only natural they'd send a rescue squad. Oh, right! Also, after the thing with Labrys, Mitsuru-san mentioned something about maybe having some idea who the culprit might have been. If that culprit is the show we met, it wouldn't be strange if he already knew Mitsuru-san and her team from before he met us. So, the guests of honor he mentioned could be the other shadow operatives, come to rescue Mitsuru-san's group! That's right. Show is underestimating us. If Yukiko and the others meet up with the shadow operative backup, they won't lose easily, not even to show. Wow, you really are smart! All right, if that's the case, we should get up this tower quick and rescue Mitsuru-san's group while he's not around! Yeah. It's the same here as in town. The layout of the classrooms is all out of whack. I wonder how long this hallway goes on for. We keep passing by the same rooms. That reminds me. I remember a story like that. Something about the seven mysteries of the school and a hallway that loops endlessly. So, do you think that show guy really is the culprit? Who knows? It's pretty suspicious that he's taking credit for all this if you ask me. But then again, he didn't seem like an ordinary guy. When his eyes gleamed red, I lost control over my muscles. Like he commanded them, don't move! If that was a type of hypnosis, it's pretty powerful. If Sho is the culprit, he could have controlled those hijackers the same way. Wasn't he wearing our school's uniform? Huh? Oh, now that you mention it, it did kind of look like it. I'm sure of it. I've never seen a school uniform like that besides ours. Then does that mean Sho goes to Yasugami? What? You're serious? Uh, is it possible for us to not know about a guy who sticks out that much? Hmm. I did think from last time that the culprit would be someone with ties to Mitsuru-san. I still can't shake that theory. Hmm. Oh, 
Maybe he transferred here. Or it could be his older brother's uniform. Dude, don't go drawing up the culprit's whole family tree just on a hunch. I bet he's just a ghost or something like that. Maybe he has a grudge against our school? What is it? Be on guard. Don't leave my side. You're kidding me! <laughs> hey guys! Long time no see! Are you serious? <laughs> Adachi son. No way! Why is Adachi son? Could he be a fake? Huh? Fake? Oh, right. I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> Why are you here? Huh? Oh, <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved. But someone begged me to help out. And you know, I'm not the kind of guy who can say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Hmm? Have you guys already met? Oh, man. That doesn't matter. Don't tell me you're working with the culprit this time, too. Ah, uh, well, what do you think? Don't play dumb. If I don't like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on. Aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are. You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't you? You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? Hadachi-san, you said you would abide by the rules of this world. So why are you here? Rules. Rules, eh? Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Oh, man. I see you never learn. The only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. All the questions about what he's after or what's gonna happen to this town. I don't give a damn about any of it. What's he saying? Adachi, you lousy... Whoa, whoa, give me a break. I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here. Because that's how you think. The rules here? You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's gonna happen because of that. Honestly. Rats like you barely even think. What's that supposed to mean? Like I keep saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it could bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those Persona fragments by now. <laughs> huh? Have we been inadvertently helping him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. What was that just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you, I guess. Oh, and your friends who got caught? They might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait! What's that supposed to mean? It means just what it sounds like. Then again, I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> You okay, Yosuke? This actually hurts more than you'd think. I mean, when did these get set up? How much, much longer are you, are you gonna, gonna make, make me wait? wait? You better entertain me at the very least. Welcome, Welcome to, to the special, special ring. ring. This, this place, place is truly a square jungle. jungle. 
It sure brings, brings back memories. memories. <laughs> yeah, it really it takes, takes me back. Master? Oh, I'm glad that you're safe. <laughs> Fake akihiko san Don't you all long for the tensing of muscles and the clenching of fists? It's only seconds away. Step forward if you want to taste the match. All right, we won! Wait, where did Adachi go? Doesn't this shaking seem bad? It's been getting stronger and stronger! Yeah, looks like we don't have much time. Hey, hey, hold on a sec. Adachi said something about Persona Fragments earlier. What did he mean? Last time, Sho tried to get powerful shadows by shaking us up so our Personas would turn back to their original form. And this time, he's lured us into this red fog and made us fight our fakes, so we can carve off Persona Fragments in the process. You mean those balls of light that pop out when we fight against the fakes? Probably, yeah. Sho is trying to do something with the Persona fragments he's collecting. But what, though? Is he gonna make a new Persona for himself with them? I don't know. But all the Persona fragments I saw so far were headed to the top of this tower. We might find our answers there. <laughs>